Tasha Beddingfield. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very well. Everyone say hi to Tasha Beddingfield. Hi. Oh, we're in school. Yeah. <laughs> Natasha's a new student today. Um, she's learning about pockets full of sunshine. You were learning. Well, you're, you're going to teach me? me? You. All right, that's true. You would know more than I. So how's the tour going? The tour is going brilliantly. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got about two or three weeks left now. Yeah. I've going, been going all over the states. Yeah. Yeah. Were you always a fan of New Kids or it just recently? Well, it's more recent for me because mm -hmm. I was about six or seven years old while they were at their peak mm -hmm. um, at the beginning. You know, but it's just been so amazing to come on tour with them and mm -hmm. see how loyal their fans are. Yeah. And um, everyone really is here to have a good night. Right. Now, I've heard that you've learned some dance moves from the men. I have been trying. Yeah. I, my feet are just not as quick as theirs. I mean, right. they really have it down. <laughs> <laughs> so I just try and learn a few new, new moves every night. Right, because I do hear that. Mr. Joey McIntyre has a bit of a crush on you. Really? I interviewed him. Did he tell you that? Yes. <laughs> You're engaged. You're engaged. I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm engaged. I've yes. Got my ring. Congratulations yeah. on being engaged. Woo! Yeah, Matthew Robinson, right? That's right. So when you get married, can I call you Mrs. Robinson? Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, that is very cool. So how'd you guys meet? Well, we met um, on the road mm -hmm. uh, through a friend, yeah. just visiting, hanging out with mates, and uh, had a good night out and got each other's lives, and the rest is history. Yeah, beautiful mm -hmm. thing. Now, you announced that at the 40th anniversary of Calvin Klein, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't stalking, right? I read it online. No, that is where I <laughs> showed my ring off, and it yeah. was like... A uh, much bigger news story than I thought it would be. Oh, you know, I'm on the red deal. carpet, and then everyone, even my grandparents in New Zealand, found out. Mm -hmm. All my friends in England, they're like, "When were you going to tell us?" You know, oh. and I'm like, "Well, I didn't mean to tell everyone else before you, oh. but you know, I was so excited." Um, does anyone want to be in the wedding? Anybody? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so I could have so many bridesmaids, couldn't right? I? Yeah, it would right. be beautiful. Then these, everyone. Uh, I've been to a lot of establishments, and I have to say, by far, these are the most best, the best looking people I've seen. I agree. Right? The best looking fans. Yeah, are in Boston. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna, and we're in Providence too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, I, no, I, I did meet someone today who was from Boston. Mm -hmm. Where, who's from Boston? Yeah, you see, uh, she's, she's just raising her hand. She's pretty. She's pretty. Like, no, I did just meet someone who drove all the way from Boston. So. <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep on moving. Um, all right, so um, talk to me about because Matthew, your husband, was future. Fu oh, yes, <laughs> soon to be husband. It's like you guys did it. Anyway. Uh, was with your mom. Were you, they climbing a mountain? They were. Mm -hmm. And how? Everest, Mount the biggest, Everest. only the biggest mountain in the world. Let me just ask you: Were yeah. you concerned that your mom and fiance were on a mountain? You know, it doesn't seem like it's the safest place to be. Well, I felt like he was keeping her safe because mm -hmm. she was saying crazy things like she's going to jump off. You know, at the very, you know, like she was going to skydive at the height of Everest, right next to Everest, right. for charity. So mm -hmm. I'm like, look, I can't be there, but can the person I love the most be there? Mm -hmm. Make sure she's cool. And she did it. She jumped and raised lots of money for kids. Right now, that's her charity, which is Charity Global Angels, right? Yeah, Global Angels. It's all about helping kids all over the world. So oh, I was very nice. proud of her. But also, it's kind of scary if your right. mom is going to skydive. And she, you know, she's yeah. Right. My mom goes to spin class, and I'm like, hey, mom, <laughs> don't eat too much yogurt before you, I don't want you to have an accident. Yeah. So, um, you know what I mean, then? Yeah. You wouldn't send your fiancé to watch her spin class. No, no, I am never going to do that. very weird. Uh, <laughs> now, being on tour, what is one of the favorite, like, one of your most favorite things about being on tour, besides interacting with gorgeous people from Providence? What, what else do you really like about it? Uh, being on tour, yeah, I mean, interacting with people is a huge part of it, especially mm -hmm. being on stage and having people sing the songs that they know mm -hmm. of yours back to right. you. That's really a highlight. Mm -hmm. Now, were you asked when The Hills, like, started and they used Unwritten for that, did they say, hey, Natasha Benningfield, we're going to run this a million times and give you a lot of money? Um, well, I had a relationship with The Hills because I was... Um, you and LC, best friends? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because Lauren came to visit me in the studio mm -hmm. on her first show, uh, Lauren of the Hills. Yeah. And we filmed an episode um, at my studio, and um, then we just kind of formed a friendship. And, oh, you are? Uh, yeah. I was being surprised. <laughs> Don't I look no, like Heidi cool. and Spencer are my friends. Really? No, they're not. Yeah. They've got my cell number. I've got their number. All right. That's, that's anyway. friends in the bit. <laughs> that counts for being friends in the bit. <laughs> really? You really like Heidi? I think she's cool. All right, good. I'm not going to question you. She's brave. I, you know, Heidi's brave. Yeah. She went, she was like on, is it TRL? And she was like freestyle rapping, which I would never yeah. do. Yeah. I could never do. Yeah. I think you could. I think if you were caught in a situation like that, I can't you'd do a rhyme, lot better I than can't Heidi. rhyme quick enough. I just wouldn't rhyme. It just. Cat. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough one.
Matt. 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 What's your favorite phrase that you use a lot when you catch yourself, like you always catch yourself saying it? Um, <laughs> it's not my favorite, it's my worst, but, oh. but I'm always saying, um, oh. you know, like <laughs> trying to think of things to say. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, I don't then. know, favorite phrase, yeah. actual like motto, Yeah. be like seize the day, make the most of every moment. Oh, so mm-hmm. that's how you sign off at night? Not really. Okay. <laughs> Can I just say I love your new haircut, by the way? Thank well, maybe you. You went to the hairdressers and you said, do what you will, or did you have it in mind? Um, I've been thinking of doing something a little different for mm-hmm. a while, and I always wear my hair to one side, so right. I thought let's just exaggerate this. Do it yeah. up, Matt. Like it? Can I call yeah, him Matt? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that you know, Matthew. I don't it could have, yeah. Know. It's when you're cross, you can call him Matthew, right? And yeah. it's actually, you know, when you're, it's in a love game. bug. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. And then I heard about Boogie Superstar for Nintendo. What's up with that? Oh well, there's this cool game that is um, with the Wii. Wii. You know the one that gets you moving, yeah. and it's called Boogie Superstar. It's for girls, and I really like that because mm-hmm. a lot of games are really for the blokes. They're for the boys. You know, the girls end up playing the blokes, I love and it. normally the girls end up playing it. You know, the car games and the shooting games and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. But this one is about singing and dancing, and mm-hmm. it is more focused towards girls. You can dress up your character however you like. Uh, nice. You know, to look like you all look completely different, and I, I like that. So I'm the spokesperson of the game. Now you've played. Obviously. I've definitely played it, yeah. Can you do some moves for us? Well, the moves are on the game, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so the moves are like this, you know, kind of, you're just moving the weed thing. Right, yeah, yeah. But, but your character gets to do really cool flips and stuff. You pretend this is the weed. No, I'm, I'm not your performing animal. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So then, um, DNA algorithm. You bring those, uh, is there a reunion oh. tour with brother and sister? No, I mean, that was what we used to do when we were kids. And mm-hmm. I heard, someone told me that the best way to learn an instrument <laughs> is to get in a band. And so we just, like, messed around and had, had our own, like, group going. Mm-hmm. And that's what we called it. Now, was it your family always musical, even growing up? Like, you yeah. always wanted... Well, there was one time where, uh, one summer, we all worked vacuuming the stairs in a hostel to earn money to buy instruments. Cause, wow. Yeah, I mean, we just loved mm-hmm. music, so... Wow. Excellent. What's your favorite instrument? I have a saxophone. Wow. You like having sax? Yep. I love having sax. <laughs> and, um, you know, I always wanted to play it. Um, but I stood in the mirror and I looked at it and it looked great. You know, mm-hmm. it suited me, but it didn't really sound very good. So. Oh. All right. Well, I mean, at least you got it. Yeah. Well, you tried at least it I out. have a sax. Right. At least, yeah, I'm, ha- at least I'm having sax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Natasha and Matthew having sax. Um, <laughs> all right. So I do this little thing called the Fast Five. I give you a choice and you have to tell me which, don't you? You have to tell me which one you like oh, better. Sorry. You ready? Yeah. Lipstick or chapstick? Lipstick. Pizza or Chinese? Chinese. For a superpower, could you would you rather fly or be invisible? Fly. Okay. And martinis or beer? Martinis. And a pocket full of money or a pocket full of sunshine? (laughs) 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 All right, I'll let you get away with it. All right, well, um, have a great rest of your tour and uh, try, you know, to keep Joey off of you because he's, 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 you know, he's they're all adorable. I mean, they're all a lot. Like some people don't age well, and they have. Yeah, they're they're very much blessed. So, uh, Natasha Bedingfield, give it up.